أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to the 17th class of G4 Holy Quran recitation course for Mutaallimat I hope you all are doing well by the grace of Allah and Jazakum Allah to everyone to join on time I am your day teacher today and I will be assisted by the teaching assistant and the support teacher uh, now before we start the class, I would like to uh, ensure that you all have maintained respect for the Holy Quran by having performed the wudu and you have all covered your head and sitting in a quiet room. Also make sure that you have logged in with your correct ID uh, and you have switched off your camera and microphone. Uh, another announcement is that we are taking note of your attendance. So please be regular in the classes and also make sure that you are joining with your correct IDs. Um, so that we can um, record your attendance. And if anyone is interested in taking, uh, in being a G4 teacher, please contact us via email uh, through which we have sent you the um, class details. Okay, Jazakumullah. So now we will start our class with the prayer. And I would like to request ST to unmute the student for the uh, starting prayer. Assalamu alaikum, Asti. Wa alaikum assalam. It is G4361. G4361. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I hope you are doing well. Yes. And you? Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. So we will start with Tawaz and Tasmiya. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim <coughs> Rabbana innana samina munasa Samina Munadiyunadi Lil Aymani An Aminu Birabikum Fa Birabikum Fa Amanna Bana Pahfilana Zunubana Wakafir Anna Sayatina Sayatina Watabafana Ma'al Abrahar Our Lord, we have heard a <coughs> cry calling us Onto faith, unto faith, sorry. Believe uh, yeah, in your Lord and we have believed. Our Lord forgive us therefore our errors and remove from us our evils and in death number us with the righteous. So, uh, Surat Al-Imran, chapter three, uh, page one nine, 194. Verse 194. you have recited <clears throat> very well. Uh, only uh, one thing that uh, you forgot to uh, prolong over here, as this is an alif madda, you mm -hmm. have to prolong over here. So, anna. Anna. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mashallah, I really liked when, uh, when you did the gunna sound on the noon mashadda. That was really nice, mashallah. And exactly. also uh, make a note that whenever you are pausing, uh, if there is no sign of pause, you have to start from the previous word okay. uh, some from a meaningful previous word okay jazakumullah okay. mashallah you have recited very well jazakumullah jazakumullah assalamu alaikum alaikum yeah jazakumullah so now okay. we are going to the uh, hadith so i would like to request st to unmute another student for the hadith g4394 g4394 assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam Hope you are doing well. Um, can you start at the 
uh, hadis. Okay. <coughs> A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim salli ala Muhammadun wa ala ali Muhammadin Kama salaita ala Ibrahima wa ala ali Ibrahima ina kahamdu majid. <coughs> Allahumma barik ala Muhammadu wa ala ali Muhammadin. Kama barak, kama barak, ta ala Ibrahim wa ala wa ala li Ibrahim ina kahamdu majid an ba. Abi, a an abi yuma mata aba ala kala sami ata rasul la Rasulullah ala Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Rasul sa the the this is Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa sallam yaku ikwa ulkuana fa innahu ya ati yawmal ki ali as habi Kiamati Kiamati Shafi Ali Ashabi The English translation please Abu Omar may Allah be pleased with him reported I hear the message messenger of Allah Salallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, read the Quran for it will come as an interest for its companions on the day of recognition. Mashallah, you have tried very well. Um, only one thing to be noted is that over here, uh, th there is an alif mata. So, kama barakta. Okay? Okay. Have to elongate on the ba because there is an alif mata over okay. here. Kama barakta. Okay. Yes. Mashallah. Allah Ibrahim. Yes, mashallah. And this was a bit uh, difficult to re uh, read uh, this one because there was no uh, strokes on it, but you tried very well, mashallah. Jazakumullah. Uh, mm. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so now we are moving on to the Malfuzat, and I would request ST to unmute another student for the Malfuzat. G four four two eight. G four four two eight. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Can you read uh, the Malfuzat, please? Uh, sayings of the Promised Messiah, alayhi salatu wasalam. 
now leave all the books and read the book of Allah day and night. The most unfaithful person is the one who does not pay attention to the Holy Quran and leans on other books day and night. Our community should devote themselves wholeheartedly to the pursuit of the Holy Quran and stop the pursuit of hadiths. It is a matter of great regret that the Holy Quran is not taken into the same care and attention as the hadiths. At this time, if you take the tactic of the Holy Quran in hand, then it is your victory. No darkness can stand before this light. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah. Asalaamu Alaikum. So now, uh, okay, so now we are going to uh, do the quiz and I would request uh, TA uh, to do the quiz. Asalaamu Alaikum Rahmatullah. Wa Alaikum Asalaam. Okay, let's start our today's uh, quiz about the Holy Quran. And question number one for today's quiz is, Okay. What is meant by tarqiq in the rules of recitation? The options are A. To pronounce a letter with elongation. B. To pronounce a letter with wuna. C. To pronounce a letter with thin sound. And D. To pronounce a letter with a jerk. ST, uh, please unmute an ID for the answer. G4349. G4. Walaikum as -salam. Is it G4? 349? Yeah. Okay. Uh, to pronounce a letter with thin sound. That's called Turkic. Jazakallah. Let's see the answer. And you are right. Mashallah. Turkic means to pronounce a letter with thin sound. Well done. Next question. Okay, which chapter or surah of the Holy Quran contains Allah's most commandments? A, chapter two, that is uh, Al-Baqarah. B, chapter four, An-Nisa. C, chapter 24, An-Nur. And D option is chapter 47, uh, Surah Muhammad, peace be upon him. ST, please unmute an ID for the answer. G, four, three, six, two. G4362, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I think it's okay. me, Chapter An Nisa. Jazakallah, you tried well, but uh, the correct answer is it is Surah Al Baqarah, uh, Chapter number two, which contains most commandments of uh, uh, Allah Almighty. Anyways, well, you tried well, mashallah. Okay, Jazakallah. Next question is. What was the first sin committed by Satan as described in the Holy Quran? A, disbelief and abusing. B, theft and uh, disorder. C, associating partners with Allah and lying. Or D, disobedience and pride. Um, ST, we need an ID for the answer. G4407. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. So G4407, what is uh, the correct option in your opinion? The correct option is answer D, disobedience and pride. Jazakallah. And well done, you are right. Option D is correct one. Uh, it is disobedience and pride. Well done, G4407. And uh, next question of our uh, today's quiz is, how long will the letter meme be prolonged in the word Maliki according to the rules of Tilawat? Option A, one second or one count. Two, um, option B, two seconds. Option C, three seconds or counts. Or option D is four seconds or four counts. Um, ST, could you please unmute another ID? G4329. G4329. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I think it's B, two seconds, because it's an alif mother. Well done. And uh, let's confirm your answer. Yes, you're right. Mashallah. Uh, this is the correct answer. And um, you uh, said very well that alif is uh, the alif mat. That's why we will prolong this for two seconds. 
Well done, G44, G4329. Moving on to our uh, last question. Which chapter or surah has been referred to as the pinnacle of the Quran uh, by the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him? Uh, is it uh, option A, Al-Baqarah, B, Surat Yasin, C, Surat Al-Rahman, or D, Surat Al-Fatiha? ST, we need one last ID for the quiz. G4353. Three, three. G4353. Three, three. Assalamu alaikum. I, uh, I think Surat Al-Baqarah. Not sure. Okay, let's oh, see the. Uh -huh. Sorry, Fatiha, I think. Uh, okay, option D. You are choosing option yeah. D. Let's D. see the answer. And uh, the correct option is Surat al Baqarah. So you were right last time. <laughs> Anyways, you tried well, mashallah. Jazakallah. And this concludes today's quiz. Well done uh, to all participants. And uh, we are uh, handing over to uh, DT again. Jazakumullah. Uh, for conducting the quiz. So now uh, we are going uh, to have today's lesson. Uh, so today's lesson is uh, about known botany or the miniature known. Uh, and we will learn about that. And But before that, we would quickly revise some of the common errors that would occur when you are reciting the Holy Quran. So the first one is that you should not prolong uh, the Madde Kabir which is this one. So you all know by now what is Madhya Kabir. So you should not prolong a Madhya Kabir for more than, um, I'm, for less than four seconds. So it should be prolonged for at least four to six seconds. Okay, for example, this word would be um, read as al Okay, so it has to be prolonged for at least four to six seconds. So that is the first uh, mistake that we are going to uh, revise today. Then the second one is do not replace a stroke with another stroke. So you have to be very careful of the stroke that you are reading. And this is one of the major mistakes uh, that could happen while reading the Holy Quran. And it could also lead to a change in the meaning. You have already learned about some of the changes and meanings in the previous classes. So you have to make sure that you do not replace a stroke with another one. For example, the first letter is Barun and the second letter is Birun. Okay, so you have to clearly uh, uh, pr pronounce that stroke. Okay, and the third mistake that could occur is that you should not add a blank letter in the pronunciation. So you should avoid a blank letter. Uh, so the only blank letter that we will not avoid is the alif if it is preceded by a uh, letter carrying fatha, which is known as uh, alif madha. We will come on to this uh, example, but before that, over here you can see that there is a vowel which is carrying, which is blank, which is which just does not carry any stroke, and also there is a ya which also does not carry any stroke. So what we will do, we will ignore those letters. So this word will be pronounced as li uli. Okay, so we will not be pro uh, prolonging or we will not be pronouncing this vow over here. This vow will be ignored. And over here, the last word, this is ana. Okay, so over here, you can see that there was an alif madha because the previous letter is carrying a patha, but in Arabic, uh, this word means me or I. So, ana uh, is normally uh, pronounced in Arabic without elongation. So, this has to be pronounced as ana, not ana. Okay, so when reciting the Holy Quran as well, when you are confronting this the word, you have to pronounce it as ana. Okay, so now can I ask SD to unmute a student so that we can practice some of these words g4432 g4432 assalamu alaikum g4432 wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh 
Jazakumullah for coming to the mic. Can you please read this uh, words from starting from here? A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wassa fatu. Mashallah, you have prolonged it very well. So can you tell me what this stroke is? Um, that's uh, Madda Kabir. Yes, exactly. And what about this one? Um, vertical Fatha. Yes, exactly. Mashallah. So you will uh, prolong this for four seconds and this would be for two seconds, right? So okay. you have to make sure you prolong it for at least five to six seconds. And okay. you did it very well, Mashallah. Now this one. Ja okay, so this one is ja Okay. Oh, yes, yes, sorry. I, this, um, mud. this is yeah, a mud. mud yeah, a leaf mud. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. So, ja Excellent, Mashallah. And make sure you prolong it for at least four seconds. Okay. Now this one. Uh, 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 this one also the same uh, Allahu. Uh, Allahu. mashallah very well now this one Kaf. Hiya. I'm Mashallah, you did it correctly. So these are the disjoint letters. So you have to, uh, you have to uh, pr pronounce them separately. So you did very well, Mashallah. Jazakumullah. Uh, so make sure that you always prolong the Madhya Kabir for four seconds. Jazakumullah. Okay, SD, can I uh, request for another student? Yes, it is G4353. G4353. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Yes. Um, can you start from here after Tawaz and Tasmiya? Sorry, from where? Oh, from here. Okay. A'uzu billahi minash rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Gharurun Gharurun Munzirina Munzirina Excellent. You have recited the, the correct pronunciation of the stroke. But mm -hmm. over here you miss one thing. This is an ikhfa. Right, so you have to make a nasal sound for two seconds. Partial yeah. nasal sound for two seconds. Munzirina. Munzirina. Excellent, mashallah. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah. Okay, so now we will move on to the today's lesson, which is Noon Kutni. Okay, so Noon Kutni is a small noon written between two words. So if you see over here the example, there is the noon written between two words. So this small miniature noon is known as noon putni. And this indicates the presence of a tanveen in the previous word. So there are two, uh, two ways in which you can uh, read the words uh, having the noon putni. So the first method is, first way is to, well, you can do wasl or you can do continuation. You can join the two words and you can read in continuation. This is known as wasl. So in that case, what you have to do is the noon sound uh, that to the two words will be joined and the noon sound will be produced with the kasra. Okay. So for example, over here, you can see there are two words and there is a noon in between, a miniature noon. So what we will do if we are reading them together, we are doing the wasl, it would become Okay, if I'm stopping over here. 
So this is the first way you, where you can do the noon putni. Now the second way is when you are making a pause on the first word or when you're making a work from the first word. So in that case, what you have to do is the noon will be ignored completely. And you have to follow the rules of work on the first word and the second word will be started separately. For example, over here, you can see there is a noon kutni, but before, af before that, after the first word, there is a sign of waqf. There is an alamatul waqf. So what would you do if you're pausing over there? So this would be lu maza, and this would become al So over here, we would pause, and this word would be started separately. Okay, and we would ignore the noon kutni over there. So now we will do some practice and I would request ST to unmute a student, please. G4435. G4435. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Can you start after thousand, Tasmi, and read the first word, please? Yes, inshallah. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Where am I starting? Sorry, can you see your mouth? Yeah. Over okay. here. Yeah. Khairunit ma'ana. This is a separate alif, not an alif madda. Okay. Khairunit ma'ana. Excellent. And you have to make a nasal sound over here as well but you did the uh, noon kutni rule perfectly mashallah and can you uh, read this word but you have to make a pause over the first word if you are making a pause over the first word how would you read this <coughs> Yes, that would be when you are continuing or when you are not making a pause. But for example, if you are making a pause over here, how would you read this? Fit not nin kalaba. Is it? Yes. Uh, so this would be like fitna. And then you would uh, read this separately. Fitna. Because we are making a pause over here. If we are making a pause over here, then the noon kutni will be completely ignored. Silence, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so can you just try that once again? Fitna. Qalaba. Excellent, mashallah. Jazakumullah. Ahsanadillah. So another mistake when doing um, noon putni, or one common error in the uh, while reciting the Holy Quran is that you should not pronounce an alif madha if it appears before the small noon in continuous reading. So over here you can see an alif madha, but uh, when you are reading uh, in continuation and following the noon putni, then you have to ignore this alif. So this would read as, be read as, Okay, so the alif mother over here is ignored. And this one would be, Okay, so the alif mother, this is an alif mother, but this would be uh, ignored if it is followed by a noon kutni. And this would be, Okay, so that was about today's class. And I would now give uh, to the TA to do the practice of Surah Al Furqan. Jazakallah. Let me share my screen. Okay, can you see it now? Yes, I can see that. Jazakallah. Okay, now we will uh, do the practice of a few verses uh, from uh, Surah Al Furqan. Um, we need an ID for the uh, Surah practice. ST, uh, could you please unmute uh, a participant? G4343. G4343. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. 
Walaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Okay, G4343, could you please start uh, with Tawuz and Tasmiya? Actually, G43 is, is not feeling well, so I'm her mom, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, she is yes, you can. G42. Yes, I am G43. Uh, G42, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, you can start after Tawuz and Tasmiya if she's not here. Okay. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim تبارك الذي جعل في السماء في السماء بروجا وجعل فيها سراجا وكمرا منيرا وهو الذي جعل الليل والنهار والنهار خلفة لمن أراد أن يذكر أو أراد شكورا جزاك الله Okay, um, what this word is? Could you please repeat this? شكو شكورا yes. Sheen is carrying uh, uh, the mushroom, okay? Yes. Um, I felt that uh, you are pronouncing it with the fatha, so um, I just wanted to make sure that you are uh, pronouncing it with the dhamma uh, stroke. Okay. Um, mashallah, you recited so well, very well done. Yeah. Um, I, not I hardly noticed um, any mistake. Um, for example, here, uh, um, should we pronounce this ra in a thick sound or um, as a normal ra? No thick sound because ra is getting uh, fata. Yeah. Well done. Okay. And uh, uh, how did you pronounce uh, this? Okay, so uh, which rule you applied over um, on this then mean? and? Um, okay. Calling by wow, Mushadha. Uh, this is why is a idgham or I think idgham letter. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. So yes. we have uh, two second. Uh, we have to uh, uh, elongate for two second. Yeah. And the next one is mean Mushadha. Mean is mean is uh, carrying shadda. So we have to uh, make another uh, two second little sound on uh, mean. Yeah. Uh, okay, so if uh, uh, noon sakin or tenween is followed by uh, ya maloon letter, ya ra meem, lam bao noon, then uh, you have to uh, merge them. But uh, uh, in case of uh, ya, noon, meme, and bao letters, if they are uh, followed by um, noon sakin or tenween, then you have to do a, a partial assimilation, okay? It means with the nasal sound. Okay? Well done. And uh, which type of uh, assimilation uh, you did here? Uh, this, is, uh, this is lamp, so we don't need to uh, assimilate. Uh, so we just uh, jump on the lamp, yeah? Uh, we need to assimilate, but uh, directly, okay? It is exactly, called yes. which type of assimilation? Uh, complete, complete assimilation. Complete, yes, okay? Yes. And this uh, rule uh, applies on ra and lamp. If ra la Ra Mushadat and La Mushadat, mm -hmm. if uh, Noon Sakin or Tanmeen is followed by these two letters. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have Lam here, La Mushadat here. We will do a complete uh, assimilation here. Mm -hmm. And uh, rest of recitation, mashallah. You did very well. Okay, yeah. keep it up. Well done, Jazakallah. G4342. Am I right? Okay. Yes, it is. Okay, well done. So, now we have uh, an other student and other guest from uh, um, Al Hafizun Academy uh, girls section. So, uh, Esti, if uh, you could please unmute her if she's here. Yes, she is here and unmuted. Okay.
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm fine, alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm also fine, jazakallah. Okay, let me uh, indicate the verses you will be reciting. Okay, you have to start from here after tabus and tasmiya. Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وعباد الرحمن الذين يمشون على الأرض هونا وإذا خاتبهم الجاهلون قالوا سلاما والذين يبيتون لرب بهم سجدا وقياما والذين يقولون ربنا اصرف عنا عذاب جهنم إن عذابها كان غراما إنها ساءت مستقرا ومقاما والذين إذا أنفقوا لم يصرفوا ولم يقتلوا وكان بين ذلك قواما والذين لا يدعون مع الله إلها آخر ولا يقتلون النفس التي حرم الله إلا بالحق ولا يزنون ومن يفعل ذلك يلقى أثاما جزاك الله very well done mashallah um, dear student you recited so well mashallah جزاك الله for uh, joining our class mashallah you followed uh, all the rules of recitation so far Jazakallah for attending the class. Well done. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Okay, ST, um, can you please unmute uh, another uh, participant for the G4. recitation practice? Yes, it is G4344. G4344. Assalamu alaikum. G4344. Okay. Zakilla for uh, coming on the mic. Okay. Could you please start after Tabu and Tasmiya? A'uzu billahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Start from here. Ba'iba ar-Rahman al-Lazina yamshuna ala al-Arsi haunawa iza khataba humul jahiluna kalusa lama Jazakallah. Okay. Um, mashallah, you recited well. Okay. Um, 
there's an there's a question for you um can you please find some uh, um thick letters out of this verse um thick letters are the letters which are pronounced with a fuller mouth uh the cough near the end yes you are right cough so we have uh, we should pronounce it with a, um, a thick sound or fuller mouth and uh um is g a thick letter or not uh, no good and what about ho um yes yes you are right well done and uh, uh is dod a thick letter or not uh yes yes you are right well done jazakallah uh, g4 344 well done okay um st we need another id for the uh, sura practice g4365 G four three six five. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay. Uh, could you please start after Abu Zain Tasmiya? G. Auzu billahi min al-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. From here. Yes. وَالَّذِينَ يَبِيتُونَ لِرَبِّهِمْ سُجَّدًا وَقِيَامًا وَالَّذِينَ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا اسْرِفْ عَنَّا عَذَابَ جَهَنَّمَ إِنَّنَا عَذَابُهَا كَانَ غَرَامًا Jazakallah. Mashallah, you um, recited well. Okay. Um, and do you know which rule did you apply on uh, this then mean followed by uh, Bawa Mushaddad? Uh, G is a letter from your maloon. Uh -huh. Okay. So we have to do partial assimilation. Well done. Yes, you are right. Um, we have to do par partial assimilation on this form, Shatta. Okay. And uh, here, it's better uh, to join the uh, previous uh, part of the verse with the next, with the following one. Okay. But uh, uh, if you um, made a pause over here, then uh, uh, you should continue from any previous uh, meaningful words. Okay. So, uh, start reciting from here again, uh, from here, from Azaba. Azaba jahannama inna azabaha kana gharama. Yes, and Ra will be pronounced with a thick sound, okay? Sound. And uh, which type of uh, noon is it? It's noon with mushaddat, with a shadda sign. Yes, and how uh, should we pronounce this noon? Uh, for two seconds, in. Yes, with the strong nasal sound, and for two seconds, in. In. Yes, and uh, which type of uh, vowel sakin is it? Which rule applies on this uh, vowel? Oh, it's okay. a, it's a lean uh, vowel, madda uh, lean. Madda letter. Uh, is it vow madda or vow lean? Uh, no, vow madda. Yes, because its previous letter is yeah, carrying a damas row. Well done. This is Akela G4365. Mashallah, you tried well. Okay. Uh, SG, can we have another participant for recitation practice? G4393. G4393. Three. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay. Could you start uh, with Tabuz and Tasmiya? Okay. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
ിക്കവാ counts yeah, okay and uh, what type of alif is it alif mad alif mad and uh, um, what ah. is the reason behind this uh, because it's qaf uh, its previous letter is carrying a fatha uh, fatha stroke yes and uh, this is la mushaddad we should uh, pronounce it with the uh, stress stress but we should not prolong it okay okay well so yes how would you read this wallazina iza anfaqu yes and yes jazakalla and uh, on this uh, noon we will make a nasal sound because it is followed by a uh, Uh, a letter of ikhfa okay an um, an um, fa ku yes and how, do you know how many letters of ikhfa are there uh seven mm, no sorry i think i'm wrong okay there are 15 letters of uh, ikhfa okay i think I, uh, yeah I, sorry or you should say all letters excluding uh, huruf e uh, izhar or throat letter idgham letter and letter of iqlab okay uh, so rest of 15 letters are called uh, the letters of ikhfa and uh, what type of waw is it is it waw lean or waw madda no waw madda okay how did you identify this because uh, waw lean uh, has fatha before mm -hmm. yes you are right and uh, so this waw has because of uh, previous letter is uh, madda Oh sorry, Tamma. No. Uh, yes, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, yes, you are right. Its previous letter is carrying a uh, Tamma, so we Dhamma, should yeah. uh, be we will apply uh, the rule of Madha uh, yeah, on this yeah. word. Okay, on this vowel. Okay, and uh, what type of alif is it? Uh, alif Madha. Okay, uh, how do we um, identify Alif Madha? because it has fatha before mm. yes it has uh, a maftool letter before it before it yes yes this blank alif is a um, letter of mad it mad. is called alif madhya or alif fatha jazakallah g4393 mashallah you tried so well jazakallah okay i think uh, stb can uh, have another id for the recitation g4349 G four three four nine. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay, please start after the abuz and the sweet. Auzu billahi min al-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wallazina la yad.
Jazakillah, G4, uh, 349. Mashallah, you recited uh, well, but there are uh, a few um, small um, corrections for you. Mm -hmm. Like uh, here, uh, what type of uh, letter is it? Dasakin, Dalsakin? Kalkala letter. Yes, and you have to uh, pronounce it with a jerk. Okay. Jerk. How would you pronounce this letter after the uh, uh, correction? Yad una. Yes, yad una. So uh, we will uh, pronounce it with the uh, jerk. Okay. Jerk. Jerk. And uh, ra. This ra with uh, is carrying a fatha letter. So should we pronounce with a thick? Thick sound or uh, normally? Thick sound. Yes. And what mm -hmm. type of cough sakin is it? Um, in which cate category does it fall? Which group? It's also a letter of um, Kalkala. Yes, it is a jerking letter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. well done. And uh, why did you uh, pronounce this lam in the word of Allah with a thick sound? It's a Lamul Jalala. The previous letter is carrying uh, Fatha. That's a Lamul Jalala. Excellent. Well done, mashallah. And uh, here, um, should we prolong this Alif um, um, for two seconds or not? I think not. No. Nee. You should pro um, uh, prolong <laughs> this uh, Alif because <laughs> its previous letter is a maftu letter. Uh, it is mushadad letter, but it has a, a fatha on top of it. So this um, previous it. letter makes it a um, alif mad, alif madhya. Okay. So how would you pronounce this word now? Illa bilhaq. Bilhaq. And if you are stopping here. If you are pausing here, then uh, uh, this time you pronounce it well by making uh, this cough a cough suck in. But uh, mm -hmm. I think you missed it uh, during the recitation. Okay. So mm -hmm. always uh, remember if you are pausing somewhere, so you have to um, uh, make a mutharic letter, a suck in letter. Okay. Yeah. You have to change it uh, into a suck in mm -hmm. letter. And the uh, rest of recitation is well, mashallah. So Jazakallah G4349 for the recitation. Jazakallah. Okay, Jazakallah. And uh, now we are left with uh, just a few minutes. So back to you, DT, for the concluding prayer and recap. Jazakumullah, uh, everyone. Uh, so let me share my screen. Okay, so I hope you can see that. Uh, so today we uh, learned about known kutni and how we can pronounce them when we are uh, following them when we are doing a vassal and also how we will pronounce them if we are doing a work so we learned that if we are doing a vassal if we are continuing then we would uh, make a kasra sound on the uh, on the noon and we would uh, pro pro pronounce that noon as well and if we are making a pause, then we would ignore the noon and we would read separately the two words and the uh, rule of work will be applied on the first, first word. So, Esti, uh, can I have another student so that we can practice a bit more of the noon kutni? G4368. G4368. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Can you start up the thousand tasmiya and read the, these two words? Yes. Audu billahi min shaitan ar rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Nuhu nibnahu. Shala. Khair al wasiyatu. Yes. Khair al wasiyatu. Okay. Yes. Okay. Khairanil okay, mashallah. But what if you are uh, pausing over here? How would you read? Khaira al wasiyatu. Yes, Khaira. Khaira al wasiyatu. 
uh, you would be reading them separately. So this one would be oh, Khaira. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Khaira al -wasiyatu. Yes, exactly. This is Akamala. Would you like to read this one as well? Yeah, sure. Yo, my Zinil Haku. Excellent, mashallah. So, as I told, uh, a, uh, one of the mistakes is that we would, uh, we should not be uh, prolonging this alif madda if we are having the noon kutni. Okay. So, so we should prolong it. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Jazakumullah. Yes. Jazakumullah for coming to the mic. So now yes. we are we are going to end our today's class. And I would like to thank all the participants who have participated in today's class. And uh, please make sure to attend all the classes. And if anyone is interested in teaching in G4, please reply uh, to our mails. Uh, please reply with your uh, full details uh, to the mail ID with which we have sent you the email notification of the class. And uh, once again, Jazakumullah to everyone. Please practice all the rules that you have learned till now in your daily uh, Quran recitation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.